I'm Rod Rodriguez, and this is your three takeaways from episode 26 of the After Action Review podcast with Patrick Graffino of Bastion Defense Solutions, LLC. Now, I know for a lot of you guys out there, uh, the idea, there's a, there's an idea of going overseas and becoming a contractor, lots of money, um, easy work, and there are a lot of myths and, perce- and misperceptions about what contracting is. Patrick Rafino of Bastion Defense Solutions, LLC, sets the record straight in his interview with the AAR podcast. Now, before we jump into it, uh, let's talk about takeaway number one. And really, Patrick's going to hit home again how important it is to plan ahead if you're trying to uh, start your business and how important that nine to five is before you decide to go full time in whatever business venture you're trying to jump into. So takeaway number one. I'd go out and have fun, but my budget, I'd always budget. So it was constantly a saving, saving, saving. And that was eventually what I used on the investment in the company. And my two other partners, we have the same mentality as well, as far as let's create, let's, you know, if, if we fail, cause there's always the, if mm-hmm. we're going to be okay, because we still didn't quit the day jobs. And we're not at that point where we're climbing up the mountain. And that mountain is when we say, Hey, we go full time. Now, before we jump into contracting, you really have to think about your preparation for contracting, especially if you want to go into security forces or any of the uh, security details that are out there. You can't just show up overweight with the expectation that your four years and whatever branch that you served in is going to be the thing that carries you through. If you're interested in contracting, you have to start getting yourself physically and mentally prepared for going overseas and doing this type of work. Which leads us to takeaway number two. This uh, mentality of um, the victimization of like, well, I was in the Marine Corps and I did this and that. And that's great, man. And I appreciate your service. And, you know, you always, in this conversation is the hard conversation I think vets have. And, um, like, but what the fuck are you doing now? Well, I was 82nd, you know, freaking powder division. All right, dude, well, you're 45 years old. You can't see your toes and you work at freaking Wally World, man. And there's nothing, you know, if that's the life you wanted, that's great. And I'm glad you're achieving your dreams, but I'm 90% sure it's not. So I think there was that whole kick in my, kick in my groin, get the fuck over it. Security clearance. Guys, I cannot emphasize to you how important it is for you to preserve your security clearance at the very least stay out of the trouble that will prevent you from getting a security clearance and patrick Rafino is going to tell you how important that clearance goes in terms of getting that job as a contractor which leads us to takeaway number three the clearance is the big game you could be less qualified not kicking as many doors if you're just doing if you're we're a Marine and you know how to shoot decently and you know how to, you know, hold a rifle and you're in decent, in good shape, you know, not a slob, mm-hmm. you can get a job in a lot of places if you have a clearance over that 0311 who kicked in a bunch of doors. And that's, it's amazing to me, but that clearance, that clearance goes along. All right. That was three takeaways from episode 26 with Patrick Fino of Bastion Defense Solutions, LLC. Guys, the world of contracting is really great. I love it. I'm a contractor right here in Kuwait. Can't complain, but it's not for everyone. And there are a lot of things you need to know about contracting before you jump into it. So highly recommend if you're interested in the world of contracting or building your business around contracting, check out episode 26 with Patrick Graffino of Bastion Defense Solutions, LLC. Click on the links below, visit their website, get in contact with them. They are hiring. They are looking for your application. So Make sure you drop them a line, and I will see you at episode 26 of the After Action Review Podcast.